Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Dobe campaign, picking up for episode 26 from turn 129 in the spring season of 216. So, we have done our battle in Hanzhong, and our armies have exited Hanzhong into the Central Plains, and we're going to demonstrate what happens when Guan Yu's attack doesn't fail, and Dobe's forces make it out to meet up with him for the pincer attack moment. And uh, we should be able to deal some serious damage to this army led by Yuan Shao. We saved this battle kind of uh, last time. And they don't have much. Yeah, no items whatsoever. And uh, we're going to be setting them up for... I mean, they might run, actually. Especially if we attack them together. But I still want to attack together they run they run we'll chase yep we don't have any more movement unless hold on hold on i'm gonna march them into the city because I see the city is in the reinforcement range and I can drag out a general just to lead the attack and we can fight them this turn because I do want this fight. These would just both become reinforcement armies. That's a little bit shaky but since they escape once they can't uh, get the defensive timer for their advantage so there's not much they can really do there. Uh, Guan Yu's army is responding to this side. Um, we'll go through Huarong. They need a turn to siege, I believe, so we have time. Uh, we're going to lose Changsha over here again, but the south is now in the hands of Lu Bu's forces. They will take care of that. We did beat them up. We'll just lock them up, make sure they can't go anywhere. And that's really all the armies for now. We're still waiting for our son to come of age. It should be fairly fast. He's 16 already, so within a few turns. Less than 5 for sure, he will come of age. 16 is when you're supposed to come of age, so maybe next turn even. And uh, he'll be able to join the ranks of our heir, basically provide court bonuses. We will take... Hmm... Still... I guess we don't need money. I'll take the item. Reset. Kind of want to use her as... This is Zhurong's daughter. Not really historical, but uh, kind of want to use her as a administrator down the line. So I don't think we need to refresh that skill tree. Let's just mess up with Jasu's army for no reason. We'll take the faction-wide redeployment cost discount. We will take extra construction and we'll do, which is quite a nice commandery. I don't really want to kill anyone. We can slow down Sun Tzu's army, even though he's right next to um, uh, Tribi. But six turns, so it would be debuffed for a while. The set item we got was Ceremonial Stone Axe. That's not bad. We did pick up the Sapphire Cloud. Not super strong, but we could always use more gold items. So we did the Faction Council. We used up all our armies. I think we looked at the spies already. Reform's already been picked. We're kind of one away from the one that I really want. This one needs industrialists as well, so it's going to have to wait. Uh, very similar to our situation everywhere. We do get extra building slots here, and sure, I don't think... Mm, our food situation is a lot better, so maybe we do get rid of that and pick something more relatable to the commerce and industry that we have there. Yeah, these builds are not that great, but we do need food. I don't have enough builds or else I would upgrade it for a private workshop. Yeah, so we'll bump that up in Xiangyang as well, now that we know it's safe because I have an army in there. Shang Yun will pick up an inn, and then we'll upgrade everything when we get a chance. That has to wait. Alright, we're good for now. Let's summon that army and get Yuan Shao attacked. Who might want to fight Yuan Shao? 
Zhang Fang, perhaps, avenge his father. They fought for many years. Zhou Tai, oh, we meant to release him so that he can go back to the right faction. Forgot about that. We've been trying very hard to convince him to go back. He can keep the silver weapon. It's okay, we don't miss it. I think that's the only character we have that should be somewhere else. Everyone else we have are just kind of random and ahistorical, so no big deal. Or already dead, you know, one of those scenarios. Well, technically Zhang Fang inherits his father's titles, so he should be working for Cao Cao. We'll let him go. I'll proxy him out this turn, and I'll let the mom lead the attack. And then we'll recall him. And I'll just straight up fire him. He inherits his father's titles after um, Zhang Yan dies of old age. And yeah, we will lead the attack. You can no longer run. Um, sure, we'll just fight this. I kind of want to delete the units, but then we'll have to recall them anyways. We'll just recall them off the map so I can get my Imperial crossbowmen onto the field. That's kind of the goal here. But let's start battle. Alrighty. It's nice that we have Gorilla Deployment, and also since she's a bandit, she has the skill to give additional wooden stakes. Uh, might be useful, but it seems like our army's coming from over here, so we're gonna put that unit over there. I'm just gonna drop everything we have over here. If they should run into it, that's just really their bad luck. And all we're going to do with her is tell her units to get off the field. I don't care if they can throw traps. Not like we really need it. You can only fit 42 units on the map at the same time. So that's why we need to get rid of the ones that we are not interested in hosting here. Hmm, they are going to probably respond to us pretty quickly. So let's start moving everyone. You guys all off the field. Sent them out in the vanguard position to kind of harass and draw some attention. They're fast, or at least the fastest ones we have. Ah, seems like the siege weapons are here, so they're going to have to move this way. Because it just doesn't make sense to move the siege weapons. It's a bit messy right now. We'll figure it out very soon. Hopefully soon enough for us not to get uh, caught off guard here. them up. Why don't you guys stay? Go here. Stop there. Flank them a little. I will take one.
I'll take another one. Right, so we, we stopped moving them just because we knew they were going to get in trouble if we just kept moving them. They still charged in. It's okay. We, we performed decently well in melee. I'm just going to let the two impacted units to take care of them. Ooh, Imperial Household Cavalries. We still shred them. Would anyone like to shoot them? There we go. Ooh, diamond charge. Yeah, we're sturdy enough to resist the charge. And this side's kept safe. Long Zhong should try to get out. Is he on his horse yet? Yes. Okay, we're out then. Got to micro these boys. Yeah, definitely running the, the reinforcement. It's still an issue with the deploying and enemies not going towards our main seed weapon sections. That's also going to hurt us. Get out of here. Let me get back on my horse. Come on, let me duel. How are you hidden? Alright, alright, turn around. Let's have a fair fight. And in case I need to heal, we got that in our back pocket. We withstood the cavalry charges quite decently well. Long Jones is going to try to go rescue our, our cavalry units, which are struggling a little bit. Let me route these Senbei horse archers real quick. They should just route from that. Ube is winning, but just in case, we should use it and look at everyone's health start taking back up. Not a fair fight, I know. Alright, help with that. Advance. He would be spared, I would guess, right? He doesn't have a good weapon, he just has a good armor. Right. It was not as nice as I wanted it. I wanted the full frontal setup with all our Imperial crossbow. We'll hopefully find another opportunity for that. Ooh, a brain officer. The army is auto-wiped uh, because this is their second retreat. I have no intention of keeping these bandit units, so she can go back onto the bench. She'll be a decent assignment character. And we'll bounce back and join the fight against Talpi and whatever else they are going to throw at us. That should be it. That should be all our armies, all our buildings, the tax situation that we cut off. They're starting to get reserved back eventually. No, three more turns. That's very sad. Uh, we might have more of those events this turn. It's very possible. Well, that has quite a bit of points. We are hoping to discredit faction a bit more. Do we still have on mistrust. Yes, we do. Last turn of that. 
Therefore, when we do this big burst, what will happen is we'll lose all our spies. So that's the tricky part. And obviously, people like Yan Bai Hu are kind of our targets. People like Xu Shu, if I can get him a bit lower, maybe Yan Bai Hu is now willing to speak ill of the faction. Dropping everyone to 34. We might not want to do this this turn. This spy is a bit pointless now. So I feel like what we're going to do is disown her. And see if Yan Bai Hu is willing to flip. No, but we have a spy from Kingdom of Wu. This is the army we just beat. I think she's either on cooldown or she's actually dead. Both are slightly possible. We're going to wait a turn for these characters before moving back to doing a bit. Let's build up some more of those points while he has excess here. It's very cheap for him, so let's do... 94, 40, 70 points, 45. Okay, that should be good enough. And we'll see if we can flip some of the characters that we actually want from Tal Tal's faction. All right, let's continue then. Um, I don't think there's a fight here. We can't catch them, but that's about it. All right, Kingdom of Wolves still taking more of our land. Very good spear. Has the same model as the Ancestral Pledge. So until it picks up, should be back again. Maybe Guan Yu can go teach him another lesson. Really want his items. Okay, so Hansui will fight us. He is actually favored. Which I don't understand, but let's go. He does have quite a bit of anti cavalry unit, but still, I can't imagine him being favored here. We have the cavalry, so there's really no need to put down wooden six. And we can actually forest spots, so that will help us. They're coming at us. They're on offense after all. This lasts for 30 seconds. Only has a hundred effective range, so that's pretty pitiful. Uh, but increases the range of... Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Uh, we just basically will have vision of them as they approach us. I don't believe we actually want to duel here. go search because there's units here mm. pretty well hidden but we got the flank Smash. Get a roar. Wipe out their range first. Don't get surrounded by enemy infantry. He has a cooldown reduction, yeah. Locks abilities, kind of annoying. Seems like the infantry is kind of attracted to our generals. I guess we could swarm Hansui here and kill him. He doesn't have a smash ability, so it's just nasty to steal. 
A uh, good weapon, but against a swarm of... Ooh, Sword of Huochubi. We want this. We gotta hurry up before the infantry get to us. I think that's wiped. Yeah, that's wiped. Let's move back. Target some Saber Militias. Wipe him out. Wipe him out. 2k health. He's unbreakable. Give your life. It's worth it. 1.8600. 300. 100. He's gone. Okay. Time to pull. We're out. Alright. The strategist is not anywhere close. I can do a smash. Ooh, a bit of chasing. Pull them back. Out of ammo. Not good in melee. Make sure we all see. Did we light it? Yes. Get out. Force them into the burning forest. They beat them pretty quickly here. Let them route into the fire. We'll draw their attention. Throw the axe units over here. Look for a flank from behind. Over here, we're gonna pull back to here. Quick fight and win. Turn around, shore that up. It's over. We can't do any abilities because he's here, but it's over. All right, I want that sword. Complete our set. All right, we didn't get it. Uh, minus 25 satisfaction. Port scandal. Targeting. Wait and supply destroy. That's really bad for replenishment, especially with Imperial units. Liu Shan has finally become of age. Okay. Wang Chong, Huang Fu, Zhu Xiang. Nope, pass on those. Let's see. You leveled up. Good for you. Smash ability for you. Our dear son. Where is he? 
Go shot level three has the symbol of Shu Han as his clothes, plus five percent attrition to hostile forces, faction wide, plus five morale in own territory. Not very special, no special weapons whatsoever. Let's see what we can give him. The Yuan family sword, Yuan Shao's armor we don't have. Not a lot of bonuses there. The Wind Cleaver, another pair of swords like the father with some damage and some authority. That might be our option there. The heirloom set of Wang uh, requires him to wear a different set of clothes. Which thematically feels wrong, so we won't do that. Yeah, we'll just take this Wind Cleaver set just so that he has a similar weapon as his father. Of all the white horses we have... I'm sure mom, or actually not, not technically his mom, but um, Lady Gun is his mom. But also a mom, concubine. Sure they don't mind there. We'll get eight prodigies of Jiangxia to help us out. Let's use that as a teacher moment. We don't really have a good seal, but we could do this. We could do the Buddhist prayer beads from Shi Xie's faction, I believe. Yes, we can at least get some more public water, some more diplomatic growth. Our background bonus, five points of satisfaction, plus five percent corruption. The corruption is not great, but um, it's fine. Level three, we'll grab this. We'll grab extra rank and we'll rank him up going forward. No special, oh, there's a special skill. Bequeath authority can target if a general can give a general increased damage, increased melee attack rate, increased speed, and unbreakable. But there is a passive debuff. Oh. So we lose 100% damage we lose all this stat on ourselves, but our target can gain that when we activate for 20 seconds. But we just suck at all time. Sounds right. Sounds about right. All right. Uh, we do have a bunch of kids coming of age. I believe we will just fire most of them. We do have to make sure we check our satisfaction overall because we are getting hit with all these schemes. We gotta make sure there's no one that's too low. If we have to hand out titles and such, we will. And now that Liu Shan has come of age, we can do the second generation army with uh, Guan Ping and Zhang Bao, which we've been saving up to do here. All these kids. All right, so that's all done. Um, checking the satisfaction. The lowest one we have that's on the field is 100. Oh, no, 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 we're not even doing it right. The lowest one we have right now is 46. Main reason being faction grudge. Why don't I just kick you then? I'm not really utilizing her except for assignments and any strategist can do. I'd rather not keep someone with low satisfaction in case they get flipped as a spy. It's really not worth the risk, especially since they're not historical. All right, the next one is 64. See, that's a that's a much more reasonable amount. 74. Over here on the field, 64 to 87, 88, 100. Okay, not not too bad. We can deal with this. All right, so that's done. Um, armies not getting the replenishment is bad. But where are we going to summon this army? I guess we can have them fight in this area. 
around Swinshu's forces. Changsha still has a decent enough population for a nice replenishment boost despite losing all the surrounding land. The only issue is it's too close to all the enemy armies. So it's far too risky to some of them here. Maybe Wuling can do it. Two million is not bad. Batong could also work. Batong's a bit far. Yeah, from all the cities, I think Wuling might make the most sense. So we're going to get the second generation army out here. We'll also do the marriages. It's nice to see them get along. Wen Xing will lead. You don't have a nice serpent-like spear weapon for yourself? Your sister has one. Hmm, this would be a nice set too. Dragon's Roar. Maybe I'll let you use that for now. The Half Moon Spear feels really like a monk weapon. The Capture Chance Horse. We'll let you just use a Red Stallion for now. As for units. Hmm. How should we do this unit setup? I feel like a cavalry army wouldn't be so bad. They're not going to be able to, you know, recruit any sort of siege weapons anyways with this army setup. So it's not the worst option for them. Like, for example, I wouldn't hold this now. I would go with Chen Peacekeepers first. And then over here, we'll remove that. I think Cheng units are the strongest, but it feels a little weird. Maybe we would just go with either Heavy Tiger and Leopard or Sealand Cavalry. Yeah, let me borrow this from Guanping. We'll go with the Tiger and Leopard here. Melee calves, we actually have some in the army, so that would actually work, and he would get the instinct boost as well. And I guess I'm gonna go with. Huh, maybe a front line. So that we can actually move into cities with turtle formation. But that means the Ocean would have to lead in those siege battles. Or perhaps we don't worry about that at all, and we just go with more. Cavalry units. Maybe that is the way. We didn't get Ho Chi Minh's sword. Maybe we can be like our father and read. That's one satisfaction for all units. Feels like something we could utilize as well. Yeah, plus it gets a little resolve, which always is nice. We could go with a couple more melee to complement them. Feels like we have enough shot cavalry. All right, so this army is ready. They'll come chase out some of the Wu forces. Meanwhile, it 
feels like we're gonna fight over here. March them up here. We'll take Xinye back to Xinye. Liu Bei has returned. Uh, we don't need to actually fight this one. Zhang Miao. Yeah, we're gonna do the coastal run now that their forces are here. Zhang Miao's probably gonna run away from us. I would not think they will feel confident to fight us here. They didn't run very far, so nope, still can't catch them. That's fine. Three armies in this region, technically two attacking forces. We have to come out of Chang'an if we want to get this done. Zhang Yan's forces are here. We're pretty beat up, and we got debuffed on the re replenishment side of things. We actually cannot replenish. I might actually have to borrow this back. Because my army is suffering. Still not enough. We just cancel it out. We don't have any garlic. Which would be another good 5%. Alright, this temporary force is doing quite nice for us. We can go grab some free land, essentially. I wanted to give him more town units, but obviously that item is not available this turn. Already used it. We will sweep north first. John Fei needs better units too. We will get to that. Um, we're probably going to take the northern path first and then swept south because we got to get the island as well and then hop over to Hainan from the naval route. They're in the waters here. But I don't know where they can actually run. Hmm, it was only rank 8. Thought he would be higher. We do have a couple hard fights over here. Tall's Hall? Alright, despite having a superior force, we're not really favored by much. We will definitely be fighting this one. We're drawing the garrison out of Chang'an, which is really good, actually. Let's go. Ooh, pouring rain. And then Chang'an's in the background there. Once again, it's one of those no time limit battles, so we'll be fine kiting with our cavalry for as long as we want. They do have some cavalry on their side, and who knows, they might bump into our things. So we'll keep that as an option. We're probably going to go first pull back to our main force real quick. Lots of forest. Very injured army. Getting hit by schemes. Cannot heal. Pretty much.
Eh, it's fine, we'll give up on that. They send a force to scout. Alright, let me gather up all the town hunters. It's gonna be our main kiting force. Ready for phase one, a bit of harassment and uh, finding out where the enemy is. Maybe a few duels. Definitely a bunch of arrows into them. Alright, we'll take him first. What's up? Plus is still alive. Interesting. Machao can duel himself, I feel like. We're gonna go do some harassment. She doesn't have wisdom in the river. Piece of cake. No good weapons either. They are in range, so the arrows are starting to fire. And we should be picking off a few of them. Be ready for melee. Ever comes to that moment. There are some... Oh no, they don't have... These are not the ones with the shield. If we don't have to engage on them, we don't engage. Let's get back on the horse and we'll fight the other duel. Oh, friendly fire boys. Just charge. We outclass them as shock cavalry as well. Set up the frontal charge against them. They have two more cavalry units, three more, and then they're out of cavalry. Alright, time to turn around. Issue the attack orders. Uh, the green shirts are theirs. Friendly fire from the tower. It's not cool. We're actually losing units here, fighting next to the tower. Can you guys fire here? Thank you very much. No, you're not listening. You're not listening. Oh, each direction can shoot different arrows? Literally killing our own units with our tower. Alright, Gorsa has been wiped as well. It's okay if we get charged, I just got a micro usability and we'll be fine. I don't want him to bounce back. Ah. Let me charge over here. After we get on horse, after we get on horse. Oh, we're in the enemy range. Let's move back. Get out of her circle.
Ah, uh, we didn't. We were not allowed to use it. Mm, we kind of want to kite them up this hill. Let's do that. Hello. You look lonely. I brought a lot of friends. Oh, getting tangled up here. Okay, if that's the case, we have to wipe them out fast or just pull real quick. Archer's right on us. Who has roar? Okay, we're gonna borrow him. We got a fire arrow there. We got debuff. Slap slap. Let's go. Yeah, gonna start pulling them. Alright, let's finish her off. I'm here to shoot some fire arrows. I'm here to get in the middle and roar on people. The fire plus the roar debuff should do quite a bit. Alright, got rid of that cav. Let's go, let's go. We're good. These two are kind of in trouble, too. Oh, one of our generals got rushed off. Omada is now enraged. Can't control him anymore. Same thing with Ma Chao. Do a debuff. Wei ends really low health. Guess we'll just ignore him for now. Keep kiting. Yeah, if we take care of the cavalry, we should be fine. The general should stop dying, basically. Kind of not leading them in the right direction. But we'll see what happens. He, he snapped back. Okay, good. I think the strategy is Fugan got taken out, right? I think so. we're moving across in the forest. Alright, we're here for a bunch of roars. Chase down one at a time. There's still siege battles after this, so if we could kill some of them, it'd be great. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna approach the hill from this side. Not ideal, but we can we can maneuver around that.
Honestly, I doubt they'll have any range by the time they get up here. So... I don't think we need to protect our siege weapons as much. Not my crowing is a problem. Although they almost routed two, it was close. Alright, they cleaned up one of the range units. Let's try to clean up some of the others. Okay, no one can approach our town hunters. We have 250 range. They have like 200, so we're fine if we keep kiting. They're trying to climb the hill. We have adjusted our front lines. It should be fine. Dude <laughs> has bounced back. Guard a point. Mm, still having trouble with his morale. We'll lie up behind them. Maybe help spread some fire in this forest. Well, they do still have some range. We're getting shot back, but it's fine. Their purpose is actually pretty easy. Just chase. Especially the ones out of ammo. Don't let anyone escape. Yeah, you guys aren't going to make it. I'm sorry. They climbed such a long way, too. They're like, behind us. Enemy cavalry is here. We've been flanked. We've been destroyed. Now we just want to escape. Nobody escapes. At least none of the range units will be allowed to escape the battlefield. We just want these range targets. Ah, it's fine. I think we killed plenty of them. Alright, on the doorstep of Chang'an with Cao Cao staring down at us. We'll just execute you. Yang Chou? 
Wow, well, didn't expect him. He'd still be alive. I think we can take them. He has the 50% extra reinforcement range. This is when it start, you know, coming in handy with them with the extended circle. All right, then Chan should be a free take. Ah, oh, there's a big problem. They can't siege. With Cao Cao's forces knocking on us, and us not really being able to move up to help them, we might need to break the siege, actually. How much movement do we have? We ambush here and see how we deal with them, I guess. Alright, so that's all the army movement. Let's take a look at some of the buildings we might want to build. Most of them are fine. We're really just stuck with missing reforms. Udu probably wants a labor building, maybe a marketplace. Probably a labor building first. That can also eventually lead to a bit of um, reform. Slave mobilization reform requires a labor building. E. No, that's gotta wait. We might lose the city. Depends on if they have siege weapons ready or not. The one we executed is available to take. I believe we need to do mistrust again. So we're going to run interference first. And then let's see how many discredit factions we can slam down in one turn to get potentially Yan Bai Hu out here. Liu Dai seems like a new one. Do that. No change. Do another one on... Lady Shi. And we can do another one. On Wang Shuang. There we go. Hu Chu. Um, we'll talk about him a bit later. He's not really relevant for us. But was in mentioned in the novels. That's that's about it. Now everyone's a little shakier than they were before. He's still a 39 young troll, right? So he's in the army right next to us. We can flip him. We'll try. We don't have any more slot, but some of them are going to be leaving because um, the point drop hurts them too. So if we have extra points, we should probably shift them over right now and see what we can do. Alright, so that's all good. I don't think we have much leeway for diplomacy due to the ultimatum we threw out, so pretty much no diplomacy for us moving forward. Yeah, that's fine. Let's continue then. Oh, the Nunman army has come out. We're not even favored here. I guess we need to give them better quality units, but I'm more than happy to just take a delegate victory here. I'll give them a better army composition moving forward. All right, spies are returning to us and we got schemed. Oh, this is faction wide. This really sucks. Basically our cavalry are useless for the next five turns. We have picked up a Northern Army Colonel. Wait, did we get all five? Why did we get all five? Or Cao Cao has it. Oh, two Cao Cao, good. He got all five. Has Cao Cao reached level seven just now? 
anyways, um, yeah, we're doing fine. Um, our income is taking a small dip. We, we can fix that. There is a rebel army here. Not my rebels typically have good weapons, but I guess we do have all the gold. We'll just summon a three general army to wipe them out. Speaking of three generals, okay, that's no problem. Our army here of the next generation is ready to go. Uh, they will help us clean out these situations down south. Changsha is about to be at retaken. Uh, Ribu's army is still need to clean up the coastline here a little bit. I think we'll stop here at Changwu and then start heading up north. Uh, Lady Wu has landed, which means we could stop going this way. And they're behind us, so I think we should go get them. I don't think we can reach them, though. Yeah. We'll take a look at this. Uh, a lot of armies need unit upgrades, which would also eat up into our upkeep situation here. But as we gain more land, I don't think it'll be a big issue. Um, Talpi's kind of stuck here. I don't know if we can actually catch him because he will run, but there's not a lot of places to run here. So I feel like we could get him or we can try to wipe out the last piece of land here and stop them. John Mel's still on the run here towards Lujiang. Guan Yu will be probably headed for the capital, and the pincer movement will continue. We might... Uh, I don't think we'll summon any more armies, actually. I'm pretty happy with what we have. It's not the most we can pick up, but it's a decent amount. Enough to help us win the game, in my opinion. We'll come over here, wipe this out, wipe this out. We're not going to cross the river into a way. Uh, we'll pick up the free counties with this army. It's not very good at sieging cities, remember? So we'll grab what's available to us and uh, make the push from Chang'an and then take just basically a straight line path towards the capital of Luoyang and uh, Nobei's forces is going to be gunning for the Emperor seat just as Guanyu's force. So that's pretty much the strategy right now. Uh, gain counties in the south, beeline for the two um, Emperor seats to help us win the war. There's no peace negotiation here due to our failed ultimatum. So it's just about getting enough counties, we're still a bit short. We are exactly where we started because we are losing the exact same amount as we're gaining. Uh, not a good trend, but we should be able to turn it around once we wipe out a few of their armies. So hopefully we'll get to that 95 number and get all three Emperor seats and end this campaign. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one and see you all next time. Bye.